Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. In the previous video, we have learned how we can create this pagination. In this video, we are going to learn how we can create filters so we can filter our data based on selling price, buying price, and name column. So let's see how we can build it. Let's go to our base code. So first of all, let's open our component by going to resources, JS, page, products, and index.js. In here, the first thing that I will do is to add new keys to my data so i want to filter based on name buying price and selling price so let's copy them from here and add them inside my data so let's add them in here and set them to empty now let's change the table heads to input field so the users can type and search inside our data table so let's delete the, the name in here and let's create a label with the name of name and after that we will create an input and set the type to text then we will give them a name of name and set the value to data dot name which will from here and by default it's empty then on change we will set it to handle filter change which we, we will create later then we will also add a placeholder for it now let's copy this to all input fields so let's copy it from here and paste it in the buying price table here so let's paste it and change this to buying price this would be number and this will be buying price then let's uh, change this to also buying price buying price okay this one is done let's copy this one more time for our selling price so let's delete this and paste it in here now let's change the buying price all of them to selling price now let's go and create our handle filter change function so let's copy it from here let's scroll up and in here Let's create a new cons with the name of handle filter change and set it to arrow function with the E as a parameter. Then we will return set data and set the name which we will get from e.target.name and get that name. Then we will set the value. So by let's type e.target.value. Now let's save everything and let's go to our browser. As you guys can see, I got my inputs and I can type in here anything I want but the data is not getting filtered so let's go and create a use effects and set it to our data so it can change our data so let's go back to our VS code and let's create a use effect in here let's first import it let's uh, first import it from the react let's import the use effect now let's call our use effect in here and Set it to a callback function and attach it with our data. Then inside our callback function, I will create a new const for my timeout. So I will type const timeout ID is equal to set timeout. And for the first parameter of my set timeout, I will create a callback function. Then in here, I will use gate to get the new data and I will give them a URL of my products. Then I will send my data also so in here i will in the second parameter i will add my name and set it to data.name then i will set my buying price and set it to data.buying price same for selling price and I, I will also send the page then after that i will set the time out to 300 millisecond after that i have to clear the time out so in here i will return type returns clear timeout and give it that my const now let's add the gate also in our use form object in here let's type gate now if we go to our browser we will get this error which say oops an error occurred if we refresh our page it will show our data but it will load multiple times and finally we will get this error message and the, uh, if we come to inspect go to network tab and refresh again 
now in here you, you get okay let's do it one more time okay we got our data now it's continuously sending request to our back end so this is the reason that we get an error as you guys seen here now to fix this let's go to our vs code in here in our gate method inside our use effect in here let's add preserve state and set it to true now let's save everything in here let's go back to our browser and let's refresh and we got our data and there is no multiple requests is sent to our database if i we check the network tab and refresh again only one request which we will get our data in here now let's uh, go and create our back end so we can filter our data based on the user input so let's go to our vs code back and let's go to our app http controller products controller in here let's create a new variable with the name of query and let's cut our products from here up to here and paste it in here and change it to this to query then we will create a if condition and check if request has a name then in that case add a we are condition in our query and set it to name then in the name query we will search based on the like and give the percentage then we will add our search term that we will get from the user and at the end also percentage is signed so let's copy this two more times one for our buying price and one for our selling price so let's copy this and paste it in here and let's change the name to buying price so let's copy it from here and paste here buying price then same thing for the selling price let's change them okay so everything is set in our uh, products controller also now let's go to browser and test it so let's refresh in here okay let's type name something like boot Okay, I got all the products that have both inside their decks. So both here, both, and I can change the pagination also. As you guys can see, right now I'm in the third page and both this one, I can change this pagination as well. Now I can type a buying price also, for example, something like 32. Okay, let's go yeah i got and if i type here something also now i got my filters working so hope you guys enjoyed the video and like the video if you have any questions write it down in the comment see you guys in the next video